Hello and welcome to day seven of our 40 days of prayer. Today I would like for us to focus on a very short passage or, or uh, scripture. It is found in Mark chapter nine, the gospel of Mark, the ninth chapter and verse 20, 24, verse 24. And it simply says, immediately, immediately the boy's father exclaimed, I do believe, help me overcome my unbelief. I do believe, help me overcome my unbelief. The story here, the context here is very simple. A certain man had a child who was sick and um, he brought this sick child to the disciples of Jesus Christ. And when he brought the son to the disciples, he had the expectation that having heard the, how Jesus was healing the sick and um, giving sight to the blind and giving, uh, you know, hearing to the deaf and um, allowing the lame to walk again, he had the expectation that they would figure out what was wrong with his son. And being in the proximity of Jesus, that they would have the same power to produce a healing, to uh, bring about healing for his son. He so believed it that he brought his son to the disciples. And as the disciples struggled to bring healing to this child, Jesus comes and finds them struggling. And he says to them that, uh, in fact, he asks them, what is going on? And Jesus says to this man, he asks this man, what is going on? How long has this child been sick? And as the man is engaging with Jesus, Jesus now responds to him and saying, everything is possible for him who believes. Everything is possible for who, to whom, or to anyone who believes, whoever believes, anything is possible. Uh, Jesus reminds this man that it is his belief it is his belief in the power that Jesus has that will heal his child. Jesus reminds this man that uh, perhaps there was something within him that uh, couldn't that you know that was preventing him from receiving the kind of healing that he desired. Yes, he had addressed the disciples. Yes, he had spoken to the disciples. Yes, he had even chastised the disciples. But Jesus now turns his attention to this father and makes sure that the father understands that there is an element of his belief that is required for him to receive that which he is asking. And so when having heard what Jesus is saying to him, having heard what Jesus is uh, basically reminding him of, this man now turns immediately he hears the words from Jesus's mouth. Immediately, we are told he exclaims, I, he explain, exclaimed to Jesus, I do believe, help me overcome my unbelief. That is what, how it is presented in the New International Version, which I particularly like because there is an overcoming that is required. This man understood that there was something standing between him and the healing that he desired for his son. He understood what Jesus was saying, but he also understood that perhaps there was something within him that he had not quite understood. There was something that was within him that he did not quite uh, uh, acknowledge or that there was something that he was unconscious of that was at work within him. And so he says to Jesus what, uh, with all sincerity, he says to Jesus what was on his mind. He says, he basically opens up his heart to Jesus and says, uh, Lord, I believe. I, I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. Help me not to be the stumbling block that comes between me and the healing that I so desire for my son. Lord, I do believe. Uh, but in case there is any element that is within me that does not believe, in case there's any part of me that has not fully understood what is happening here, in, in case there's any part of me that has not fully embraced the fact that I am standing in the presence of divinity, I, if there's any part of me that, that, that does not get the fact that there is healing to be received in the space that I am in, Lord, help me overcome my unbelief. There is so often in our lives when we are praying for something and we don't seem to see results. It is easy to, to point at others and to point at everything else that is going around us. 
anything that is going on around us and blame and place blame on everything else. But we rarely do we look within ourselves and try to figure out what exactly is hindering us, what exactly is within us, what exactly is happening in our lives that is either distracting us or disturbing us or that is preventing us from receiving the healing that is before us the healing that Jesus is standing before us, ready and waiting, willing and able to give to us. And how I wish that we would, like this father, exclaim, Lord, I do believe. Help me overcome my unbelief. Help my unbelief. That this father understood that sometimes what is causing us not to grasp or what is causing us not to receive that which the Lord has for us is what is inside of us. That perhaps we always ought to start within ourselves before we go to other things or other people. And so this man exclaims, Lord, I believe, help my unbelief, help me overcome my unbelief. As we go through this 40 days of prayer, I am, I, my sincere prayer is that you are discovering things about yourself. You are discovering things about God that you are being transformed in your prayer life, that you are understanding to whom you are praying, that you are understanding the resources that the Lord who is a God of heaven and earth, the creator of heaven and earth, the creator of you and me, that that is the God, not only that we serve that, but he is also the God that we are crying out to in prayer. Uh, that God desires to give us that which we are praying for. But if we would only believe, if we would only understand that we indeed are, are petitioning an unlimited unchanging, forever loving God. If we would understand that this God of love put all things aside, that he may come and dwell with you and me, that we will receive him in the fullness of his glory. That there is so much that we are struggling with that we don't need to struggle with if we would only just but surrender it to God. If we would only just believe that the God that we are praying to has the capacity, the ability, the willingness to attend to the things that are causing us so much angst and causing us so much anxiety and causing us so much trouble, causing us sleepless nights, That God is present. That God is able. That God is willing. That God is here right now waiting for you to surrender your unbelief so that he can begin to work not just in your situation, but that he may begin to work in you, in your life. That God is the God we are praying to in this moment. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we come before you with a very simple prayer, the prayer that this man prayed. Lord, we believe. Help us overcome our unbelief. Father, we ask that you would acknowledge or just take charge of the elements of ourselves that we Cannot we seem to have, uh, you know, just given up on those elements of us that have lost all hope and lost all faith. Lord, please help our unbelief. Help us recognize that you are indeed a prayer answering God, that you are indeed a life transforming God that, Lord, you would begin to do this work in us, that, Lord, even as we go through this 40 days of prayer, that, Lord, we will not be left outside of your of your desires for us, that, Lord, you will give us the strength to surrender to you. You will give us the will to surrender to you, that, Lord, whatever it is that you desire to do in our lives and through our lives, 
Lord, in this moment, we ask that you would help us overcome our unbelief. Lord, please do not let our unbelief be what comes between us and that which you have prepared for us. Let our unbelief not, be, not come between us and what you have desired for us. Lord, we accept that there may be elements within us, Lord, that have not fully grasped how deep and how wide, how magnificent is your love towards us. But Lord, it is those elements of our lives that are still uh, riddled with unbelief that we now surrender to you. Lord, we believe. Help our unbelief. In Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior's name we pray. Amen and amen.